Today I want to briefly identify a few trends that are shaping the information technology landscape of the future and how the Apple Workgroup servers have been designed to fit in and stand out in both large and small organisations as well as educational institutions. Foremost amongst these trends is the convergence of industries. Once separate industries, telecommunications, personal computing and television are converging creating one of the largest mega industries in the world and a tremendous source of new opportunity. The most significant implication of this convergence is that people are finding new ways to do things better. It is within this context of the convergence where we believe there are huge opportunities. To take advantage of them, we have put in place a multiple businesses strategy aimed at delivering information-based solutions that permit highly distributed ways to capture, manipulate and share information. Our strategy begins with personal computing, which is at the core of our businesses. And the Macintosh has been our first brand in that category. But we're poised to move beyond this by developing businesses that are the natural offshoots of what we do best. Beginning with the Personal Interactive Electronics Group, or Apple Pie, we're preparing to ship our first personal digital assistant by the end of this year. And it's certain to play a very significant role in meeting the needs of the enterprise of the future, where more people will be more mobile than ever before, and where organisations will be expected to do more with less. And this brings me to the third part of our multiple businesses strategy, or Apple's recent foray into the workgroup environment. With ever-increasing frequency, organizations are realizing that the client-server model of computing, that is, networks of workstations and personal computers linked into servers, is faster than the old model and can be a cost-effective way to manage the flow of information. For Apple, this is good news because these organizations are realizing that the Macintosh is well-suited to these client-server environments. They're easy to use and have broad networking capabilities. But we want to go beyond the client-server model to a client-client-server model which recognises and takes advantage of mobile computing devices as well as desktop computers and servers. The client-client-server model builds on the existing information technology investment that organisations have made and incorporates new technologies for the future of the enterprise. By the end of this video, you will be left with a clear vision of Apple's approach to workgroup computing. We want to help people transform data into information that users can access wherever and whenever they need it, easily. Doug, can you tell me about the new server products? Sure. There are three new servers, the Apple Workgroup Server 60, the Workgroup Server 80, and the Workgroup Server 95. The 60 is based on the recently announced Centris 610. It comes bundled with System 7 and a new version of AppleShare that we call AppleShare 4.0. The Apple Workgroup Server 80, based on the recently announced Quadra 800, also comes bundled with System 7 and AppleShare 4.0. It has more memory and disk than the Quadra 800 configurations because you need that when you're a server. The 80 also comes bundled with a DAT drive and dances retrospect remote software for backup. The flagship product, the Apple Workup Server 95, is based on the Quadra 950 and comes bundled with a processor direct slot card built and designed by Apple's Enterprise Systems Division for more performance and reliability. The 95 also comes bundled with a DAT drive and retrospect remote for backup. The operating environment on the 95 is a new version of Apple's AUX 3.01 product. Basically, we started out with the concept that we wanted to deliver every service to every desktop, whether you were here in the office, 
whether you were at home or whether you were on the road on trial. My concept went a lot further than just email. Because we image all of our cases, because we convert those images into text, and because we have online calendaring and docketing and, and provide basically all of our services online, we wanted to be able to deliver all those services to, to an attorney anywhere he was at any time. The Workgroup Server 95 is a hardware and software solution. Um, and it's uh, a classic Macintosh uh, product. It was easy to install. The actual software installation took uh, about an hour um, and uh, operates essentially the same way that uh, AppleShare 3.1 operates. Uh, we were up and running on it in two or three hours. I think that, that the primary enhancement is performance. Um, our initial uh, benchmarks are somewhere around a uh, 30 to 40 percent improvement over our existing Novell networks. Uh, we run three Novell networks in our operation right now. We did not tell anybody in the office what we've done. One day they were running AppleShare 3.1 on a Quadra 950. The next day they were running the new AUX product on a Workgroup Server 95. Uh, I had people stop me in the hall saying, boy, my machine seems to be running three times faster, four times faster. I mean, it was amazing. It was really funny. What the workgroup servers mean to us is that we can implement our strategy of metadata, that we can build these encyclopedias of information, separate process from the information itself, and have a server that's robust enough to service the kind of workgroups we have. We have 1,500 users, 1,000 users, 1,200 users, a lot of people. We couldn't do that on a Quadra 950. Now with the scalable architecture, we have some machines that are robust enough, not only on the database side, but also on just plain file management side. Combine that with products like Apple Search, and we've got a turnkey solution to manage information. There's two things that I like about the workgroup server. It's maintained Apple's commitment to simplicity. Uh, anybody in my group can run it. It's just as simple as AppleShare 3.1, but we got a five-fold increase in power, and that's really the benefit to us. The best reason why we decided to uh, release server product is because our customers asked us to do it. Uh, They've gotten a lot of value over the past several years out of the desktop systems that we've delivered, uh, over the last year and a half out of the PowerBook systems that we've delivered. But increasingly, they're using those systems in work groups or they're using them in client server configurations. And so what they asked us to do was step up to both sides of the equation, both the client uh, mobile or desktop client piece and the server piece to deliver an integrated uh, solution for them and a system that would work well together. This thing that we've come to call client, client, server uh, probably has too technical a name because it, it, it's not really a technical concept at all. It's really a concept of how can people work together more effectively. The core idea is there's a lot of value in mobile clients, like notebook computers, the PowerBook, in desktop systems, and in servers. And each of them needs to be optimized to do what it's designed to do best, but then combine together in networks with powerful network services like Apple Search, like Apple Share, like database management to do a particular workgroup computing job. So that's the core idea behind client, client, server. Let's put notebooks, desktops, and servers together in very effective ways to help people work together more effectively and solve their business problems. We think ease of use is going to emerge over the next three to six months as a major issue around servers and local area networks. Uh, the reason is because a number of the computer research firms, uh, Gartner Group, uh, Forrester, IDC, DataQuest, the people who publish the numbers and sort of set the tone with their conferences of what are the hot topics in the computer industry, uh, have just finished or are about to come out with studies of the total cost of ownership of computing. And usually what those studies discover is the upfront purchase cost is a very small piece of the total cost, whether we're talking about a desktop or a server. The annual operating cost is much larger than the initial purchase cost. And ease of use directly impacts that annual operating cost.